Hi guys, welcome back to Mountain Goldfish. Uh, I've just cut off a fish store now, and uh, I've got a couple of fish for me, you'll see them later, but obviously we've done our usual tour, and this place is incredible. I definitely think this has got to be the best place in the UK to buy fish. Um, I can't believe when I went in there, I'm absolutely sweating because it was boiling in there. Um, but it's very, very high-end stuff. There's some goldfish in there, which is great, high-end goldfish as well. I think the most expensive ones in there put £105, top of my head. Um, but yeah, everything else you can think of. The L numbers in there, the plecos. Um, there was more than ever knew existed, obviously. I know there's hundreds and hundreds of them, but uh, they just that seem to have every single type, and some of the prices of those were, were quite high as well. But but otherwise, the prices were good, good um, of the fish there. Um, massive place. Obviously, at the minute, we're able to just go in there with it. Um, quarantine, relaxing a bit now, so you have to wear a face mask. Um, you pick your fish, you write it down, and then they bring the fish out to you in the car, which was a bit unusual, but um, they asked me which fish I wanted out of the ones I selected. Um, I seem to think it was pretty good. Got some shrimp as well for the collection, so I can breed them out for a little breeding colony. Another video on that in the future. Um, but he did say to me when he passed around to me in the car, he said, oh, there's a few extras in there for you as well, pal, uh, which was nice. The customer service in there was good. I was left to look around. Um, I concentrated mainly on the fish for sale. I should have maybe looked a bit more of the actual hard stock that was in there. A lot of the plants and the fish tanks and a lot of aquascaping stuff as well and food and all the different accessories. Um, but yeah, absolutely top quality place. Um, I think it may be the best one. Um, I was listening to a podcast by Steve Chester, who you know owns Premier Aquatics. Um, really well respected in the UK fish keeping hobby. Uh, and in the fish breeding hobby as well. Um, and he mentioned the other day about Pier Aquatics um, to say that he, he thinks it's the best one in the UK, possibly the world. Um, I'm sure you've seen a lot more fish places than I have. I can't, I can't disagree with him at the minute. Uh, I've definitely not seen anything better. Uh, if you guys have seen something better, then let me know in the comments below. But let's have a look first and let's see what you think. I'll see you in there. Taking us into the tropical section.
Right then, we've just got back and uh, just unpacking these liar tail saw tails and I thought I would show you. Look at that, that's a female there. Absolutely stunning, I had to get her um, for Pier Aquatics. I think it was uh, £9 for the pair. Got a spare male in there, um, but I'll take him out. I don't think he's going to be part of my breeding project, breeding project. But I will uh, see how these go and I'll get some young off them. Absolutely stunning fins on it. And let's see what else I've got. These are the orange Sakura shrimp that I got. There's a couple of pink ram's horn snails in there. Uh, five, five shrimp for £12 I paid. Um, you can see five okay size ones in there. Plus there's a little, little baby swimming around, which I'll take for free. They'll set off the colony great then. So I've probably got about 10, maybe 12 shrimp all in all, if you count the really tiny ones, but I doubt they were counting it. Yeah, let's get them in the tank. Right then, that's us done for another episode. I think this was episode seven. It'll be in the description anyway, so you'll know. Um, next episode, we're gonna have to go far afield again. I'm running out of things that are fairly local. Uh, Pier Cracks was just over an hour for me. Um, amazing though. I don't know if you guys agree and think it's uh, the best in the UK. Is it the best in the world? I'll have a look online. I'm sure somebody will argue with you that it's not. Um, but it's definitely the best that I've seen anyway. Uh, my favorite, I think it's still Premier Aquatics. Um, as my favourite because you've got some of the rarer stuff in there um, all those some rare L numbers and things in this one as you've seen um, but yeah if you've enjoyed the video um, think about subscribing because I'll be doing loads more anyway um, we're going to carry on doing them until I can't get to any more I suppose um, but yeah like the video if you think it's the best or if you disagree with me and think it's not the best and you know of somewhere better then let me know in the comments down below um, and I'll try and get there uh, if it's one that's really far away I don't mind doing them, but I'll do a few in a day. Um, we'll do it that way. But yeah, I look forward to the next one, guys. We'll see you next time. Stay safe. Bye.